Please. For a week ago, representatives of the forces who have fought, I have introduced legislation to provide arms and training to the Bosnian military in order to create a balance of force and a lasting condition for peace. But I cannot and will not support the commitment of American troops to an ill-defined mission with an uncertain goal. Aware of President Clinton's, the administration is in fact demanding an unacceptable open-ended commitment. I want to call your attention to the uh, French division, which is in the Sarajevo area, the British uh, in the western sector, and the American division will be in the northern sector. Uh, we have a, an interest in, in ensuring our values. We have an interest in preventing the spread of the war. We have an interest uh, in, uh, in ensuring that our leadership is vindicated. But overall, I think we have an interest in making an investment at this time to provide uh, insurance against far greater risks in the future. I'd like to say, if I could, uh, 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 Senator Pell. The general who is a thug and a war criminal, and, and I hope we don't dance around this anymore. I hope we don't play with it anymore. They are thugs. They've engaged in genocide. Would you be prepared to begin right now, or have we already sort of con discussed? I think of many things I take more seriously than the life of a soldier. Uh, but that's true in, uh, in this particular mission. Uh, it will be very hard to face the death of a soldier. But I will know that they will have died whether in an accident or due to uh, some hostile action, that they will have died in pursuit of peace. And that uh, this government, this body here, and uh, the president have all thought about this long and very hard, and that this has not been some frivolous decision. You've been most impressive. Thank you, General. Thank you. Thank you. What nationality is coming? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.